Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about a book that I didn't like. Again, negative review fest. Um, oh, I should see if I can show you the cover of it. It's a book by a writer that I've been reading um, for a couple of years on his live journal. Live journal is still around. Um, and I really like his writing. Oh, it has to download. I deleted it. So it's um, Ferret Steinmetz? Steinmetz. Steinmetz. Ferret Steinmetz. Or the ferret online. And there's the cover of his book. Um, he wanted to, he's been wanting to write fiction for years and years and years. Um, and so it's very exciting, but he got published. Um, and so I bought his book. I was very, very excited to read it. But just not for me. Just not for me. Um, there's a... It follows characters who are dealing with addictions. So it's quite a bit of it is a bit dark and tough going. And I'm not great at reading um, sad content because um, my life is pretty sad a lot of the time. And so I only read happy content most of the time. Um, well, not depressing. I'm fine with challenging, but I'm not fine with depressing. And this was... it wasn't super depressing, but I was only... I read the first 10% of the book. Um, and I could kind of see it going down this tunnel of doom. Um, yeah, and... While I was reading it, I don't think a character made a smart decision. Like, you know when sometimes there's a character and you're there going, Don't do it! Don't do it! If you do it, everything will go wrong! They kept doing it. Every time. And... yeah. And I'm like, if they can't... no. I just can't. I just can't watch these characters go through this. The, char the main character I liked, except for his poor decision making. Um, yeah, I didn't meet very many characters in it. Um, the only characters I met that I think would follow through were the main character, Paul, his wife, oh, I've forgotten her name. And then, well, his wife and their daughter, because he was going through a divorce. Yeah, his daughter was adorable, the wife seemed sensible. Um, I liked all the characters. Yep, the wife didn't make any terrible decisions, but she wasn't in it for very long. Um, well, ex-wife, going through a divorce. Yes. Yeah. It's well written though, I liked the writing. Yeah, because I like Ferret's writing. But I think I just like his non-fiction rather than his fiction. So, but I'm really proud that he got published and his second book's coming out, the sequel. So I'm glad it sold well enough. And yeah, I'm glad that he's, you know, going well with his writing. Um. I am very, very proud of him, and I am glad that I got the chance to buy his book. Um, yeah. And I hope that um, later on he'll write a book that is more for me, but this one was not so much. Not so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his, I should say something about his writing style. I don't know, it's just kind of easy, just easy to read, but I don't know how because I have read, I've spent years reading his, his blog, so I know the way he writes. 
Hmm. It, it was quite um, evocative, like his descriptions of the way things looked and the way characters described what they thought of things. Yeah. Yeah. It was nice. The writing. The writing was nice. Yeah. Yes. Um. Yeah. Oh, and the magic is really cool. It's a fantasy book. I didn't tell you what the book was actually about. It's about, um, it's set in a world where, a world much like our own, but there is magic, where if people get obsessed with something, they might create magic about it. Um, to be interesting, because through my life I've gone through quite a few things I've been obsessed with, so maybe I'd have, like, J-Rock so suddenly I would magic over the top boys, over the top people in costumes, or costuming, so I would just create fabric everywhere, or um, YouTube, and I don't know, what would the magic of YouTube be like? But yeah, but, um, yeah, they'd create this magic, but whenever you use magic, there is, the magic is called flex. And after the flex, there is the flux, which is the negative consequences of your magic. Um, and so that will strike randomly, mostly, but towards things that you care about, mostly. Which just kind of made me go, why would, why would you use the magic around things that you care about if you know that there's going to be a negative... Thing that's going to happen to the things you care about. Yeah. And then the repercussions, the flux happened really, really quickly. I think it would have been more interesting if you could do about five or ten bits of magic and then something bad would happen. But sometimes it would go back wrong on the first time, but sometimes it would, you know, wouldn't until later, so each time you used magic it was a bit of a gamble whether this was the time everything would go wrong or whether everything would go right. Yeah. 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 That, that was one of my frustrations with the book, because I kept just going, why would you even think about it? You know something horrible is going to happen if you do this thing, why are you going to do this thing? Yeah. But yeah. But I, yeah, I only read the first 10% of the book. Yep, if you like urban fantasy set in the near future or modern day, I don't know, it's hard to say when when it's set. Uh, probably modern day. Um, and don't mind characters who make silly decisions all the time, then Flex is a book for you. If you get annoyed at characters making silly decisions, don't read it. It will just frustrate the hell out of you, like it did me. So yeah. That's Flex by the Ferret, by Ferret Steinmans. Steinmans. Can't say his last name. I'm just used to him being the ferret. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yep. The end. Love you, bye. <laughs>